throw out all the statistics, throw out even the records, because none of it matters. We're in the preseason, of course, the four weeks of the year when compared to every other freaking week. This is the only time of the year where the football games don't actually matter, don't actually affect the season. They only affect the players. So here we go. The kickoff, the 2015 season is underway. McBride's going to be on the return. He's taking it at the goal, and he's going to the right. He's going to whoop, juke out a defender and be brought down at the 24 yard line so what's up all you beautiful gorgeous six hey people out there welcome back to smart man 16 times connected franchise marcus Mariota is going to be stepping onto the field for the first time as a tennessee titan in the georgia dome taking on the atlanta falcons Mariota taking the snap a little bit of that zone read i saw the defender the defensive end standing out there on the edge means hand the ball off brandon sinky is going to be my back that's going to have to be able to get the edge going to be have to be able to run some outside tackle and maybe bang it inside really with marcus Mariota, i want to be able to run some zone read i want brandon sinky to be running some zone in general some read option also some zone read inside some zone read outside all that stuff look at that face on matt ryan this is gorgeous baby face so anyways guys i want to do a little bit of housekeeping here before we actually talk about this preseason going deep body white makes the catch and he's going to be brought down at the 11 yard line matt ryan really didn't take him long to find the tight end for a touchdown right there they strike first in the preseason as i was saying i want to do some housekeeping right here uh in particular basically this preseason is just going to be cut ups chop ups look at that whoop going to be cut ups chop ups of the preseason games i don't find too much value in the preseason because that's really just the time to evaluate your little man pixelated people evaluate your talent so this video in particular is not really going to be how i'm going to run videos in the future videos in the future are going to have the entire game i'm not going to just you know cut out certain parts of the game so you're going to see everything once we actually get into the season marcus mario completes a pass right there great job We've seen that crossing route he's two of three right now we're trying to get him in the group trying to get him going i'm gonna be scrambling a lot going deep and they make the catch but it's not out of his hands so that's going to be incomplete and i believe we're going third down and 10 and i'm just going to run some read option right here just play it safe and i make one man miss and there's a fumble on the play they're going to pick it up and they're going the opposite way one man to beat and he's not going to be able to beat him because i take a perfect pursuit right there godfrey's going to have a great fumble recovery to set up this falcons offense and matt ryan on the 30 yard line on the opposite side of the field and now our defense is in trouble matt ryan looking deep and he's going to hit his receiver but julio jones cannot bring it in on that diving reception attempt i have that bend but don't break goal right now and right now i'm bending and i'm sort of breaking so here we go they're inside the red zone matt ryan in the shotgun formation taking the snap looking for his tight end his tight end runs through one defender three more defenders are in his area and he runs right through them and now we're going into the second game as i said we're gonna be quick we're gonna be fast paced like that chip kelly offense we're gonna try to go as quickly as possible jamal charles is going going not gone he's brought down actually isn't james charles jamal charles i can never remember his name i keep forgetting i know it starts with a j but i know he's really freaking quick just like their running back right there was davis was really quick moving down the field alex smith the former 49ers leading his team down the field taking charge look at that that game manager's coming through and then here's the pitch to charles and he's gonna get you cannot catch him you cannot give him the edge you cannot give him open field because he will make you miss every time but you know what we have brand sankey so we're gonna be able to run some outside zone stuff too even though sankey is not really that great as far as ranking goes as far as overall goes he's only like a 78 or something like that but i can still run some toss sweeps some stuff like that and with marcus Mariota, we're going to be doing some a lot as i said a lot of spread attack so here we go that's off the back foot not typically a, a pass you want to see your rookie making but it's going to be complete anyway so we're going to be at the 49 yard line all right come on right I'm looking for right all the way, and it's incomplete. That did not happen. Marcus Mariota, shotgun. There's a screen on the play. We have great blocking right here, and I cannot make one defender miss. I meant to go to the outside. He went to the inside, and that's unfortunately going to be where we get stopped on the drive. And now we're going the opposite way. Alex Smith looking back for a receiver, and he's going to hit his man. Toe tap and attempt. Toe tap and grab, and that's going to be brought in at the 29-yard line. Alex Smith looking for another receiver. Going deep. Going deep. It's complete, and there is nobody going to be able to catch him at the 10-yard line. At to the 5 Touchdown, Chase. We just got beat deep, and that's not something you want to see in the preseason. I really need to work out my reading. 
of defenders because remember guys this is my first couple games I'm still getting to the feel of Madden 16 I don't really know what's going on right now I start try to just juke right there for some reason the controls made him go all the way to the left and when I if I could just have a short juke I would have been right there would have been fun would have been perfect would have been able to get the first down flying in there for the sec Brian Arakbo that's awesome so here we go third game so far on the season the preseason we're 0 and 2 so we're not doing very well we need to pick it up defensively I'm still working on that 3-4 technique still trying to figure out the best way to go about this alright let's go baby let's go bring him down he's about down at the 44 yard line here we go Austin Davis Nick Foles wasn't even in Todd Gurley's gonna pick up a first down right there that's gonna set them up at the 48 yard line First and 10, Rams. Todd Gurley's going to get the handoff again. He's going to bounce it out to the outside. One man to beat. I'm trying to take my pursuit angle, and I stop him at about the 17, 18-yard line. So that's not good whatsoever. Todd Gurley and Trey Mason, that's a great running back tandem possibly for the Rams. Good underthrow right there by Austin Davis. Austin Davis leading this. As I said, I don't know where Nick Foles in is, and Todd Gurley's going to get jammed right there, stopped at the line of scrimmage, and we're going to force him to kick a field goal. That gives him the 3 nothing lead Dexamers cluster is going to give me the return right here come on guy come on man go all the way and he's going to be brought down to like the 32 yard line okay return not bad Dexamer cluster is not really you know the best returner on my team or the best returner in the league there's that zone inside zone I was talking about if we can do that if we can get runs like that we're going to be perfect right now I'm just trying to figure out what kind of talent I have right here there's a halfback angle and Sankey's going to pick up a first down for the Titans offense. I see the underneath route, and I'm going deep and setting is incomplete. So we're going to have Doral Green Beckham in there, probably as the slot receiver, that third receiver, because I like his size mismatch. If you don't know, when you're in this game now, you can actually see Green Beckham's going to be targeted right here. I do believe I'm dropping back with Mariota, trying to find him, and I'm not going to be able to get it. Mariota fumbles the ball. My offensive line picks it up, and he cannot get anything, and that's going to end that game but as I was saying with their taller receivers your tight ends when you're in the red zone especially you can actually now you can use precision on your passes to flip that ball up there to where you can have your big guys go and grab them here's where you see really that Doral Green Beckham step in he's more of like you know Megatron style of receiver Calvin Johnson Des Bryant he's in the mode of those players there we go there's some read option right there and there's no juke move whatsoever I don't know I probably wouldn't have been able to break away from that cornerback at all but that's fine the same our man in motion I'm going to the halfback blast right here and I bounce it up to the outside Sankey's running all over this defense before I get called for a penalty that's great man just get a penalty another thing about man 16 is penalties are prevalent you can get a holding call I've actually seen for the first time in such a long time a defensive pass interference going up with Green Beckham and he's gonna make the reception down at the 11 yard line that's why we had those big receivers if Marcus Mariota if we can up his you know pass power if we can up his deep ball accuracy we could be in for some great football those two right there Green Beckham and Marcus Mariota that's gonna be a tandem to watch out for in the near future there's another reception but it's dropped third and 15 we have to find someone find someone all right here we go here we go yay whoop and I cut the wrong way and there's a fumble inside the red zone that's going to end any opportunity we had of scoring here's Teddy Bridgewater hits the slant route Adrian Peterson is in the backfield for the first time in a year Adrian Peterson is going to get the handoff right there he hurdles nobody he hurdled a ghost and now we're going they're going the Minnesota Vikings and Adrian Peterson makes the reception Adrian Peterson is one hell of a dude to tackle one man 39 left in the first quarter left for our starters and there's a great pass from Teddy Bridgewater. Everyone's looking like Peyton Manning, even though Teddy Bridgewater probably this year is going to be pretty good, pretty decent. You know, maybe at least a little bit above average, if not completely above average. As you can see here, guys, we won that game against the Vikings. I don't usually play the entire preseason game. I usually just play the first quarter and simulate it just because I want to get that experience for my starters, get that XP for them. But that's not the reason I brought you guys to this area to this menu right here you can see the draft is 28 weeks away and if you've paid attention to any of my other man 16 titan videos or my man 16 no, pre-release of the game titan videos where i was talking about what I, my plans are for the game 
you know that this Titans franchise is about rebuilding through the draft and rebuilding through free agency. I'm not going to be doing too many trades unless I have to. Absolutely have to. But that's why I brought you guys to this menu. Zach Mattenberger is a 79 overall. He's vying for that backup spot, possibly even a starting spot over Marcus Mariota. But the Titans used a second pick on Marcus Mariota. So I don't think Zach Mattenberger is going to find his opportunity here with the Titans. Which leads us to this. Do we trade Zach Mattenberger? Because we have some trade offers. Let's review our offers. The Texans, the Jets, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the New York Giants are all offering second round picks. Kansas City is offering Davis and a seventh round pick. Arizona is offering Andre Ellington and a seventh round pick. And then we have the Browns with a second round pick and the Bengals with a second round pick. And we finish off with the Chicago Bears offering a second round pick. Now this is an option because we could trade Zach Member get this second round pick and possibly trade up from the second round into the first round in this upcoming dra draft. I'm talking about pairing my two second round picks if I do this to get a first round pick. So that could be pretty good for us. We can rebuild through the draft, we can be rebuilt through the free agency, and while trading away someone that may not be of value to us later on down the road. So anyways guys, let me know what you think. Of course, we're going to want to go with a pretty bad team in this trade. I'm thinking probably the Jets, the Jaguars the Browns, maybe even Chicago, just to make sure that's a high second round pick when we trade away Zach Mattenberger. And that way we have a better odds or better chance of getting ourselves another first round pick. And that first round pick could be viable for us. Could make, you know, we can make more moves from that. We could do some draft day stuff. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of trading away Zach Mattenberger and possibly signing a free agent backup quarterback like Michael Vick's a free agent here. Just let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section, who I should trade and what I should do with that second round pick or who I should get rid of to acquire more picks. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap things up for me. Stay frosty. And remember, I love. Yeah.